What's up everyone? Welcome back to Black Myth Wukong. I'm Obix and today we are continuing our adventure. I recall that on the last time uh, there were two places that I didn't search properly. So there's no reason to delay. Let's just get into action, dude. It's been a while. I haven't recorded for over a week, but I do hope my memory is fresh. Actually, having a week in between the recordings might help me because I kept messing up with the controls on the other one. Because I switched them mid-recording from square and triangle to R1 and R2. Hopefully now they feel more fluid to me and I don't mess them up so much. But yeah, let's just get going. Don't forget your beverages, your waters, your beers, whatever you have, ladies and gents. To Black Myth. So I believe the best course of action would be to go to the last bonfire. Try to come back this way or remember the way that I didn't go. I think I went right. And there was something to the left that I didn't check. And I have the idea that it happened twice. Yeah, exactly. So I went there to the right. But there's something here that I didn't check. This is what I meant. Age Jinsen. Oh. Oh, the, you are that fucker that I killed before, I see. I didn't expect to be able to reach here. Yeah, I've gone down there. I don't know if I'm just overwhelming myself and it's actually just little small areas spread out and they have nothing. Oh, this is a boss. This is definitely a boss. Shall we go for it? I just started the game. Shall we go for it? To remind myself how to play this. Oh wow, this looks like a Dark Souls thing. The fact that he has fire, this really looks like a Dark Souls boss. Ganshi. Oh, that's cool. So I have a, a burning meter. How do I heal? Okay. Oh, fuck. No, this is a mini boss as well, right? Because he also has a small health bar. This keeps trying to upload my screenshots. Gotta turn that setting off. For the notifications at least. Oh! Oh, I'm out of health potion. 
Oh shit, oh shit, motherfucker. Okay, but that was a good first try. That was a solid first try. Now, do I remember the way here? I think so. Right, and I have the spells. Forgot about that. Oh! Fuck, fuck. I died because of the fire. I thought I was doing so well, dude. I was trying to do the fucking spell. I was trying to mo immobilize him so that I would finish him. That sucks. I was really about to get him second try. Third try. There we go. There we go. A weapon? Yo, you get the weapons from the bosses? That is really fun. Oh, I love that so much. It feels even more rewarding to beat the boss like this. Red Tides. Spells. As the Pharaoh Flurry intensifies with each fierce thrust, the flames do rise, transform into a wolf guy and inflict Scorch Bane on the enemies with each attack. Transform into a wolf guy? Hello? Yo! Weapons and valuables cherished by Yao Guais often carry lingering obsessions from their deceased owners. Collecting them grants the ability. Oh shit. To briefly take on their forms in combat. Each transformation has its own strength, making them worth experimenting with. Transformations continuously consume might and require a full gauge to initiate. Using spells during a transformation further depletes might, and once it is fully depleted, the transformation occurs automatically. Subsequently, might will gradually recover. Alright. Yo! Look at this shit. I'm that boss, dude. I am legit that boss. This is so fun. And the bar lasts the longest time. I thought it would be way shorter. That's so fun. It's not just the weapon you transform into the guy. I totally forgot that this... That my character is a shapeshifter. I didn't expect to shift into the characters that I just beat. Oh, this is very exciting news. Oh, am I going to do something that I shouldn't? Is another boss going to show up? Oh, no. 
，这钟声洪亮清朗，惊动了这儿的妖精。再往前走，可要万万小心。So put in simple words, does that mean I just increase the difficulty of the game? There's gonna be more enemies now? Oh, sure, come at me! Come at me, try me! Alright everyone, so I backtrack pretty much to the beginning of the game, which wasn't much. And yeah, I was just missing that area where I found, where I fought that last boss. There wasn't anything else that I missed. So let's just keep going, let's explore this area and fight the other boss that is awaiting me. That the guy from the mountain warned me of. Trap? No. Actually, something that I gotta praise the creators of this game for is the fact that I'm not given a huge amount of uh, gold pieces and then it's just five in value. Because some games do that and it's so annoying. Or then you have the plants that straight up just give you one. Anyway, um, I believe it's boss time. shit dude you are really fast for something so big holy shit so i really don't have to make the effort to get close to you huh you do that for me Oh shit, now you're running away. I really like this mechanic. The fact that that boss that you just unlocked the transformation from is helpful against this one right after is really cool. I, I looked at this guy and I was like, yeah, he has a lot of fur. It makes a lot of sense if fire is strong against him. Just sucks that now I have to wait a long time to unlock the transformation again. Oh, boy. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Oh, 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 oh shit, I don't have health, dude. I don't have potions. I gotta freeze him again. You are super fast, dude. No! Oh, that was so close! It was almost first try, dude. This guy is way tougher than any other of the other two. Or three, I don't even remember how many bosses I already faced.
I almost beat him first try. Oh, now you're already here. Okay. And I already used up my potion. I did a heavy attack by accident and I actually was not hit while loading it or charging it. That was interesting. So you can actually dodge attacks while charging the heavy attack. That's interesting. I said the first try was good. Holy shit! I didn't give him a chance. That was awesome. I don't know. The pill from the history. When you read the journal entries about the characters, there's something about a pill, I believe. But that was wild, dude. That was really wild. I did so much damage in a row. I just used the health potion, I believe, in the beginning by accident. Wow, dude. That was so good. I am so proud of myself for that fight. But I really like the way that I faced one boss. I got a power from it. A transformation spell that allows me to turn into that character and use the weapon. Which deals fire damage to the opponent. And then I faced a boss fully covered with fur. That makes total sense to use the fire against. And the thing is, the boss that gives me this transformation, I think it's missable. It's not that straightforward to find it. So it's pretty interesting to, to figure these things out. The fact that a missable boss gave me a mechanic that was so helpful against this one. And it's a power that is really good. The fact that you can miss it and go throughout the whole game without using it. I'm really scared of missing things out. I really hope I search every nook, every corner, so that I find everything the game has to offer. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect to climb on top of it. I just wanted to interact with it. Okay. Ooh. Dude, look, how, look at how beautiful this game is. Celestial Jade Lotus Pill. Okay. Celestial Medicines. A miraculous pill concocted by the god of longevity. Longevity. In the southernmost reaches of the land that massively increases maximum health. Alright. Alright. So these pills are gonna be my health upgrades. Got you. Don't do drugs, kids. So you want me to go right... I'm gonna go left. Cha -cha, real smooth. If there's anything here at all. Well, I tried. There is a shrine here. <sighs> this is beautiful, dude. Look at this shit. It could be just a basic wolf mask, but look at the details. I don't want to be that based guy that everything he sees is complimenting like it's a big deal. But it is a big deal. This is beautiful, dude. I'm enjoying every single thing about this game. It's just... 
it just cracks me up in a way to see masks on this fellow because he's so furry he has a monkey face and then you put this mask on top of it it's so it's it's funny because we are used to see masks on top of a human face right on a top on a human head it's funny to see the combination increases sprint speed when sprinting each second moderately increases attack this effect can stack up to 10 times and will cease upon stopping Ah, uh, that's why the, um, the staff. That's why the staff turns red when I'm sprinting. I didn't remember about that uh, buff. I like all my character looks so grumpy. All right, fam. I think we're good in regards to the sparks. Is there an achievement for breaking all these bells? Because I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna find every single one of them. You're the ones that made it breakable, okay? So don't blame me. Another boss? It can't be. Is it? Hello? What is going on? Are you a horse? What are you? You are a horse. <laughs> With a whip? <laughs> what the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> Do the NPCs are so fun as well. Interesting。虽不知阁下为何来此，但定要多加小心。我此刻心急如焚，需即刻。虽不知阁下为何，我此刻心急如焚，需即。Why are you here? And why are you telling me these things? You didn't give me anything. Your sole purpose was to talk to me and say to not trust the Black King. Are you gonna help me in a fight in the future or something? Alright, this was interesting. This was a little small area with just a meditation spot to get me an extra spark and an NPC to talk to that didn't give me anything. A very interesting design choice. Um, although it does make sense since I'm facing wolf and frog people and so on. Fine. Snake head, snake head mushroom. Hello. Yeah. Now that I know that I gotta get away from them when I when they die, 
they are much easier to kill. Actually, they were always easier to kill, but the poison was a bit annoying. Also, why do I keep finding this, these little flying flames that give me will? I don't know if it is just flying will, or if it is something that when I find, when I find it, it gives me will, you know? I don't know if I have to find all of those things, or it's just a little extra will around the world. Oh, another one. Something that I haven't tested out. Is there a stealth mechanic? Like if I walk slower... Okay, no, they detect me anyway. Hello. I was actually afraid I was gonna die right next to the bonfire. But no, it went well. I was getting a bit cocky though. Alright. Oh no. Oh, you seem quick. Are you a snake? He fell. It is a snake. Shit. Right. I got poisoned. I want to go back. I want to go back. How do I go up there again? I'm screwed. All because of that stupid snake, dude. There we go. Oh, oh, there's a way here. Alright, we're back. I suppose I'm gonna eventually go through those areas, but let me go by order. I don't want to confuse myself and have a lot of places to explore at once. Oh, oh shit. Hello. Huh. <laughs> Oh, a human. Yeah. Okay, I was just asking about this. Yeah. You are not a normal human. I am intrigued. I shouldn't have not picked all those souls already, should I? I feel like I should have just left them there. Under the guidance of a wise master, the destined one has mastered the art of spirit absorption. The guard possesses remarkable divine capabilities, allowing it to absorb the lingering wheels of spirits left behind by formidable Yaogwais who have been defeated. Okay. Sure. I see you. Oh, hello. Are those statues or... 
Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Snake skeletons? Instead of human skeletons, that's that's very funny. I like that idea. Like, so many games have skeletons, but the fact that here the enemies are not humans, so the skeletons aren't from humans either. That's fun. All right, my dude. What we have here? Okay, so this is the river. All right. I think we're getting back there now. I was actually being a bit overdramatic. Yeah, we're just back here. All right. So it wants me to keep going down. But I can search the river as well, which I'm going to do. What if now there's an invisible wall and I actually could not come here? That would be so funny. Me saying that I was getting overwhelmed because there were so many ways to go. And actually there weren't. Oh, there's a boss. Oh shit. Bro. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? I did not see him and the health bar just popped up and I got really confused. You kick me with the back legs. I suppose transforming to the fire guy is not going to help me here. Oh, you can kick multiple times. Okay. And his minions are going to keep trying to poison me. First try! Alright, let's go! That's what I'm talking about, come on. Oh, okay, so now when I defeat a boss, their spirit shows up and I absorb it? Is that it? Ah. What now? What does this imply? I got its spirit, but what does it imply? Dude, I'm very curious. Don't don't leave me hanging like this. Come on. I gotta know. Oh! It's in my equipment. What is this? Transforming into a powerful Yao Huai to unleash their signature abilities costs key, which can be recovered by absorbing it from enemies during combat. Spirits of Yao Huais can be cultivated at Keeper's Shrines, to enhance their spirit skills. What? So I'm gonna use the skill of the frog? Stick out your tongue to lash at foes from afar. Though soft, the tongue can still inf inflict great damage. Moderately reduces the stamina cost for jumps and jump attacks. Um, I'm dumb fucked. I'm speechless at this. I'm also gonna turn into the frog, dude. So, there's different transformations. There's spells, like the one I have from the wolf guy. That deals fire damage as well. And there's skills. Spirit skills. It's like the same thing implemented in two different ways. There's an enemy there. I'm afraid of jumping down, because I don't know if I can get back up here. But I suppose I'm going to find that place either way. There's a, a spirit that I didn't notice before. Okay. Oh, okay. When I found these spirits before, they gave me like 27 of will or something. Now they give me 360. That's a big difference. I'm glad I explored this. There's... 
a bunch of enemies hidden in small side areas. Like, you could totally come down this way and totally ignore that river and miss on that frog. I like that on one hand you have invisible walls so that you don't explore the areas that are totally unnecessary. I do appreciate it. It's something that I've grown to appreciate. In the beginning I found them pretty annoying. The fact that you have a world that looks open but then you hit an invisible wall when you try to go explore a forest or something. But now I really appreciate it because exploring an empty forest is no fun. And now I know that every place that I explore has something behind it. Oh, the timing. I like that the basic enemy turned from wolf guy to s snake skeleton. This looks like that area in Bloodborne where you have a lot of um, men with pistols right before you get to Emwick. It kind of looks like that. I also like that you can run through the bamboo trees because there's a lot of them. I believe I'm headed the way that I saw before. Oh! Oh, what is this? What the fuck? What the fuck are you? So, there's also enemies that pretend to be plants. Oh, that changes things. I did not expect that. What the fuck? That, it's just a mushroom. And then it's a guy as well. Yeah, this is the same spot. Exactly. I was above there. Alright. I believe that's it for this area. Let's move on. Boss. Boss. It's definitely a boss. Ooh. What an interesting look. I was healing. Shit. I just defeated them, come on.
There we go, my dude. There we go. I don't even know if I consider this second try, but okay, it's second try. Because the first time I died legit as I was trying to heal. I didn't even fight him that long. Another spirit. Yaoguai. Yeah, that's exactly as I was said as I was saying. I'm actually happy that I was pronouncing it right. Another bell. Exactly. So the bell is kind of giving away that I'm back, that the reincarnation of this guy is back. Not just any enemy running through the mountain. Another shrine. Alright, let me check about the, the spirits actually. Retrieve spirits. Wandering white. There's also this spirit and I didn't retrieve it. And you can retrieve them at the shrines. Dude, this is awesome. Like when you defeat a foe like this one, the spirit stays behind, but you can retrieve them in the shrine. Dude, really. Thank you. Thank you. I would have totally missed that one and I definitely want to check the spirit of the Wandering White. Because that fucker is so cool. Takes the form of Wandering White. Bow without utmost devotion and ram the foe with your bronze skull, dealing massive damage. Upgraded effect reduces the key cost for the skill. And while equipped, considerably increases damage. That's fun. It's just a slam though, but that's fun. It's so cool that I'm gonna keep... A transformation for each of the big foes that I face then. That's so cool. I can turn into each of them and do one of their attacks. Takes the form of Guangmo. Guanmo. Call four snakes to spit venom upon foes and inflict poison damage. The snakes will slither away once their venom is depleted. Increases poison damage and poison resistance. Nero has decided to join me. She's laying right next to my leg. And she was shaking everything up. Oh. Alright, um, I'm gonna take a break and then I'll be back. I'm just gonna eat something. Don't forget, drink your waters, take your pills, pet your cats and dogs and whatever. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Lugia Fragrant Vine. <laughs> oh, a literal brother. <laughs> All gem drinks and soaks. 
I love the personality of every character, dude. It's so fun that everyone has such a distinct personality. Using the guard moderately increases poison resistance for a short duration. Chao <laughs> So this is our shopper? Our shop basically? Oh, that's so fun. Increases guard uses. Coconut wine each sip restores 33% of maximum health. Well, if I upgrade it, it recovers more health upon using the gourd. Brew. Interesting. Let me, do I have a limit of inventory of this? One of three. So now my healing potion, my gourd, is constantly soaking on this, so it will give me a slight poison resistance increase. Celestial Lotus Seeds, for a brief moment after using the gourd, slowly recovers a small amount of health. I'm one of those stubborn motherfuckers that I don't buy stuff, because I'm hoping that I'll find it myself and don't have to, to spend this amount of money. 2400 is a lot. I'm hoping that I'll just find it roaming around the world. But I'm interested in the fact that I can hold one of three. I have one of three of the other one, I mean. Because if it were an infinite item, why would you pick up more? Does it increase the benefit? Meaning, like if I buy this one now, um, for some time I'll recover a small amount of health, with two I'll recover a medium amount, and with three I'll recover way more health. Probably that's what it means, right? I don't run out of the item, I just increase its benefit. <laughs> Okay, I cannot attack NPCs here. Is there another frog here? What is gonna happen? Damn. He's so pale. Oh shit. I thought that that transformation would not be strong against this guy, but it's not that it's 
not strong, it's actually weak. That guy doesn't move well on water. That's very interesting. I thought it would just be weak in the sense uh, that I could not set him on fire because he's constantly on water. But I think that guy just didn't move well here. <laughs> what a combo! I froze him and then I hit him with the Wandering White. And immediate cutscene. There's a second phase. I was indeed finding him a bit easier, but I did not expect a second phase. The upgrade of the dodge not breaking up the light attack chain is great. I tried to dodge at the right timing. Fuck, I was really trying to do a perfect dodge. I'm really messing up the timings. I'm constantly trying to do perfect dodges and because of that I get screwed. Oh! Fuck! I thought I was gonna do it in time. Why am I so stubborn? Why am I so stubborn, dude? I saw that my health got low really quick. But yet I thought I could manage his first phase without healing. I tr I don't know why, but every time he throws his spear, I try to do a perfect dodge. I delay too much, but I still haven't read the timing well. Why don't I just dodge a bit earlier? Oh, fucking bastard. I don't know why I didn't click to hit. Uh, I didn't hit the dodge button. For some stupid reason. No! I was about to kill him. You saw that. I was about to kill him. I, I hesitated. I should have landed the last hit and I would have probably won. I hesitated because I tried to dodge, but I dodged at the last second. Fucking hell, dude. 
My heart is pounding. Okay. But now I got the hang of him, I believe. I just gotta stop being cocky. Okay. I'm getting cocky. I'm rushing. Motherfucker. I managed to finish the first phase with just one heal. But still. The heavy attack actually dealt a lot of damage. was gonna overlap. I could not stop the heal to dodge that one, unfortunately. Fuck off, motherfucker. Fuck off. I got your ass. Or do you have a third phase? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Am I talking too soon? Oh, 
旁人念念不忘的，也是你所求的吗？钟。自那黑风怪回来后，山里便立起了三口红钟。OK。不许旁人靠近，莫非那三口钟与当年的火烧禅院有关？此人所言不像假话，小猴子，你可暗自留心。I found two of them. Does it mean that there should have been three before this fight, or is the third one soon or close? Holy shit! What the fuck? That fucker is gonna jump down at me, isn't he? Oh, okay. The third bell. There we go. So it was indeed before the boss arena. Or right next to it. Alright. Ah, okay. It just opens the temple. <laughs> Why did it bring me here? What the hell? Where am I, dude? What the fuck? Why is this giving me the feeling that I was transported back in time? I didn't even lead a, a shrine there. I did go back in time. This is the same temple that I fought the wolf in. Or at. Holy shit. Where am I? Secret ancient Gwenin temple. Exactly. I found an old version of the temple. Am I gonna craft this the boss's armor that I just fought? All right, I love this. I like that you get so many different things from bosses. Either a transformation spell, a spirit, an armor. The armor is very pretty, dude. I'm so glad we get to collect these things. When we see a cool looking boss, there's such a high chance of getting their armor and I really like that. But I don't know if I want to craft it already. Maybe I'll wait. If I find some area in water, then I'll come back and craft this. Just in case I find some other armor to craft. And then I run out of materials. I'm gonna keep this. Oh, I can craft this staff. Moderately increases the damage of light attack combo finishers. The effect is massively enhanced when fighting in water. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna craft this one. Okay. I'm so intrigued that we went back in time. But it's so interesting. This is like... <laughs> I feel like Bloodborne is my only means of comparison, but it kind of feels like when you enter the abandoned old workshop. It's the same feel. So I'm gonna get a lot of rewards because I ranked the three bells. After absorbing the lingering will, moderately increases maximum health and mana for a long duration. I don't really like that, because it depends on you finding lingering wills, and they are very spread, spread out through the world. You find one, absorb it, and then your maximum health and mana is increased for a while, but then it's back to normal. I'm also gonna break the set, so it's not worth it. Maybe if I do find a will, I'll equip it for a bit. And that's it, right? Oh, I can open it! I really thought it was just gonna be this area to... 
find those chests. Elder Jinchi. What the fuck? He's healing because of these fuckers. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Holy shit, you're much quicker. Fuck! The fact that he has these guys that I can knock out around him and heal me makes me go easy on the heals.
Oh, I see. If I'm next to him while he's exploding the guys, they also damage him. Interesting. I thought I was hit. Thought I was done for. Tao! There we go! Defeated, dude! Awesome. Yes! 270 years. I'm so proud, dude. I'm so proud. I mean, it's not a big of a deal. The game just started. But the fact that I found all the bells by myself and I didn't take that long to defeat this guy. I'm really proud of it. I really like the design of this enemy. I don't know why. And this fight was really cool. The fact that it had these minions around him that mutually healed and fucked with you. And now we're back. Ah, that was great. That was truly great. And, and we're just back. Yeah, okay. I'm back to where I was. Fireproof mantle. Vessels. Let everything else burn. I care for nothing but my master. Give it to me quickly. Vessels. That's something new. Tangianta Can't use it. This is a meditation spot, isn't it? Yeah. Celestial Tai Peel. A miraculous peel crafted by King Father of the East of the mountain of Feng Zhang that increases maximum mana. Okay. Awesome. Oh, interesting. When I increase my maximum health or uh, mana. I don't fill up the bar. 
Well. These guys give more will. And they are indeed a bit stronger. Now the light shows up. Oh. Are you... Are you a friend or a foe? Please don't come for me. I just want to. Motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you the shrine. Exactly. The dang shrine. We found it, ladies and gents. This is gonna be a longer episode, but I feel like it's long due since I took way too long to record it. Um, I totally broke my plan to, plan to play this game, because my plan was to move on to Dark Souls and God of War. But those little buggers are gonna wait a bit longer, because this is a new game, and I have faith in myself. I have faith in this channel, I really want to make it grow. Because this is something that I love doing. I love playing video games. Although I'm still learning the ropes. Sometimes I am i don't come up with jokes because I'm nervous or I'm too focused playing. But yeah, I'm loving it a lot, dude. I'm really happy that I'm playing it. Uh, on the next episode, we'll move on. I have no idea what's going to happen next. And I hope we beat the ass of a lot of bosses, dude. And we start revealing a bit more of the story or getting some new abilities. Who knows what will come. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.